Nice skirt you got there, milady. But who would have thought this painting, though worthy of acclaim, would be shrouded with criticism and even controversy? Poor woman. Doesn't even know what happened. Today, we're diving into the enchanting world of Jean-Auguste Dominique Angres and his famous masterpiece, La Grande Odalisque. This painting was ordered by Caroline Murat, the sister of Napoleon Bonaparte and the spouse of Marshal Joaquim Murat, the King of Naples. It could have been a compliment to the now lost La Dormeuse de Naples nude. In any case, Angra was not paid for the labor because of the fall of the dictatorship. Oh, wait, what's an odalisk anyway? <clears throat> the word odalisk stems from the Turkish term for harem concubine. In 19th century European Orientalist paintings, odalisks were a prevalent theme. Typically, the barely clothed and exotically attired odalisk postures as if on exhibition for the observer, who is supposed to be a man. So much for that. Here she is, the star of the show, the grand odalisk. Look at her reclining so gracefully, surrounded by sumptuous fabrics and exotic elements. Ah, the life of luxury. Just look at those curves from the lady, lying so beautifully. Her nakedness serves as a symbol that she's offering herself as she rests on the couch. Given that just her back and a portion of one breast are seen, she's referred to as a modest harem. Her face, however, appears distant and devoid of any indication of keen expectations if one pays close attention. But something's just not right with the painting. Doesn't she look longer than she should be? Hmm, notice those elongated proportions? That's one of Angra's signature styles. He elongated the odalisk's back and limbs to create a sense of elegance and grace. It's like she's floating on a cloud. The elongated and sinuous lines of her body draw our attention, creating a sense of elegance and sensuality. The figure is placed in an opulent oriental setting, adorned with sumptuous fabrics, rich tapestries, and vibrant peacock feathers. The careful arrangement of these elements provide a luxurious backdrop that emphasizes the status and exotic allure of the odalisk. Now let's take a closer look at this intriguing beauty. The Grand Odalisk was painted in 1814 by the talented French neoclassical artist Jean-Auguste Dominique Angre. He had an act for creating breathtaking portraits, and this one is no exception. Angre's composition centers around a reclining female figure, an odalisk, positioned diagonally across the canvas. The odalisk herself is the focal point of the painting. Her body is elongated and contoured, bending in a way that defies traditional anatomical accuracy. Angre intentionally deviated from realistic proportions to emphasize grace and beauty, showcasing the influence of classical art. The painting deviates from traditional notions of anatomical accuracy and proportion. Angre elongated the figure's back, elongated her neck, and exaggerated the length of her limbs. These distortions of the human form were seen by some as a departure from classical ideals of beauty and a departure from realism. Critics have argued that Angres' alterations were done to prioritize aesthetic harmony over anatomical accuracy. Some have suggested that he was influenced by the artistic conventions of the time and sought to create an idealized, exoticized version of the female body. The elongated figure has been interpreted as an attempt to evoke sensuality and eroticism, emphasizing the exotic and otherworldly nature of the subject. Her skin also has a warm and luminous tone, further enhancing her allure. The odalisk's face is partially obscured, adding an air of mystery to her identity and leaving the viewer to wonder about her thoughts and desires. And now let's talk about the elements that make this painting truly unique. Check out the exotic peacock feather fan she's holding, a symbol of opulence and beauty. It adds a touch of extravagance to the scene. The grand odalisk reflects the 19th century fascination with Orientalism, a trend in Western art that idealized and romanticized the Orient. Angres' portrayal of the odalisk as a symbol of exotic beauty and luxury aligns with this movement, including oriental elements such as the elaborate headdress, the fabrics, and the peacock feathers contributes to the overall allure and fantasy associated with the orient during that time. Oh, and let's not forget the mysterious gaze of the odalisk. She looks straight at us as if inviting us into her world. It's like she has a secret that she has to share. Though partially hidden, the odalisk's gaze is captivating. Her eyes are focused and engaging, creating a connection with the viewer. Angre skillfully portrays a mix of confidence, seduction, and introspection in her expression. It's as if she holds a secret, 
or possesses a depth of emotion that lies beyond her physical presence. This enigmatic expression invites us to contemplate the inner world of the odalisk, adding to the painting's intrigue. Now, here's a fun fact for you. When the Grand Odalisk was first exhibited, it caused quite a stir. People were shocked by the unrealistic anatomy and the fusion of Eastern and Western elements. But you know what they say, art is meant to spark conversations. But little did Anger know that this style he used would spark controversy among many people. Anger's artistic liberties, particularly the exaggerated elongation of the Odalisk's body, sparked criticism and controversy. Some viewed it as a departure from realism and criticized the distorted proportions. However, it is important to consider that Anger was not aiming for strict realism but rather exploring the artistic possibilities of form and expression. The controversy surrounding the painting only added to its enduring fame and led to further discussions about the boundaries of art. Alright folks, let's wrap things up with a little game inspired by the Grand Odalisk. We're calling it Strike a Pose. Grab a friend, strike a pose imitating the Odalisk and post it on social media with the hashtag Grand Odalisk Challenge. Let's see your best interpretation. Overall, the Grand Odalisk can be interpreted as a representation of idealized female beauty and desire. The Odalisk embodies sensuality, power, and mystery, inviting viewers to project their own fantasies and desires onto the figure. She represents an imagined world of luxury, temptation, and indulgence. The painting also raises questions about the position of women in society, particularly the power dynamics and notions of beauty. While the Grand Odalisk remains a celebrated work in the history of art and has its admirers, the distortions and the issues surrounding its interpretation have been subjects of discussion and debate. The painting's departure from traditional realistic conventions and its reinforcement of Orientalist fantasies have contributed to the ongoing discourse surrounding its significance and interpretation. Thus, the Grand Odalisk by Jean-Auguste Dominique Angre is a complex and thought-provoking artwork. It combines technical mastery, the influence of classical art, orientalist themes, and a touch of controversy. Through its composition, symbolism, and portrayal of the odalisk, the painting invites viewers to contemplate the notions of beauty, desire, and the allure of the exotic. It remains an enduring masterpiece that continues to captivate art enthusiasts worldwide.